I was in a hotel in London a few weeks ago and on the walls of the foyer inside the hotel was some artwork, uh, big frames and it looked like a, a white canvas with black brush strokes going across it. Um, a little bit like this illustration I'm going to put up now, similar to this, and there was lots of them. I thought it looked rather cool and I thought it would be quite a cool project to do in the darkroom. So um, by way of exposing a uh, strip of negative film and then scratching it, then taking it in the darkroom and printing it on silver gelatin paper. So um, this is the first time I've ever done it and I've decided to film it at the same time. So I don't know what the results will be, but uh, let's crack on and I'll show you what I've been up to. Cheers. I'm starting off with a roll of FP4, 125 film, 35mm. Uh, and I'm going to cut a small piece of it. I don't want to use all of it because uh, that'd be a waste. So I'm just going to cut a small length and then uh, put the rest back in the camera. Before I put it in the camera, I need to um, just cut a little feeder for myself. Put it back in the canister, uh, put it to one side, put it in my camera later on and, and shoot some photographs with it. Okay, so this is the strip of film that I'm going to be using. And the first thing I need to do is to develop the film, already it's exposed to light so I know that it's going to be a, a very heavy film, it's going to come out black exactly what we want so I can then start scratching it. I'm going to put the film onto a, uh, onto, onto a spool and then I'm going to put the spool into a clear jug so we can see it getting developed. So I'm going to be using uh, Adox Rodinol for this and I've uh, already mixed 50 parts so that's 400 over 50 parts, that's 8 millilitres of rodinol in water at just normal temperature. Give it a good mix around and then put the film in. Okay, so the film's in there now and I'm going to develop, I'm going to leave it in there. It's kind of semi-stand for about 15 minutes. Um, so I'll just quickly time-lapse this for you. You'll see that they're changing colour. Okay, so the 15 minutes is up. So I'm going to take the roll of film out, it's not even a roll really, the strip of film and put it in a stop bath, I'm going to develop it the normal way probably don't even need the stop bath, just throw it straight in the fixer but just going to put it in there anyway and now take it out of the stop bath and put it into the fixer and I'll leave it in the fixer for about 6 or 7 minutes and agitation as normal ok last thing to do is to take the film out put it into a jug of water and then just leave it there to wash for a few minutes and then dry the film out so so we're going to give that a few hours to dry and then we'll come back okay the film's now dry I've used this matte board I'm going to use a 35mm mask you can see the glossy side and the emulsion side that's the emulsion side we want to scratch so I'm using the mask so I know exactly where I'm going to be printing later on and now I'll just use some tape to tape it all together to hold it all in place and this is going to be my scratch tool which is just a small craft blade and then we start scratching okay so I've got no plan at all what I'm going to scratch but I'm just going to come out with some sort of I don't know creative scratching if you like only lightly I'm not scratching hard just scratching very light and just keep scratching little patterns inside the mask area and the last thing I do is I'll just score around the edge of the mask so it gives me a, a kind of rebate edge if you like around the 35 millimeter frame I'm going to do a few more so when I go in the dark room I'll have a few to play with okay so I've finished scratching now let's have a little look at these not I not really creative but I suppose if you had more time you could you could uh, you could get something decent I suppose. Right okay let's take this down to the dark room and get printing and see how we look. So there you go, after about half hour of playing around in the dark room, I managed to print the scratch negatives onto silver gelatin paper. I scanned images of the actual prints 
and I've superimposed them in Photoshop in frames just so it gives you an idea of what they look like. I'll need to spend a bit more time creating something a little bit more interesting possibly on the negatives but all the same just a bit of darkroom fun in your spare time. Thanks for watching.